what's going on y'all it is tba and before we start this video i have a joke for you all right once upon a time there was a youtuber by the name of not tba but we'll call him abt and he was making a video just like this one i'm making right now it was all mic'd up good to go got everything filmed got the bright cuts and everything go to edit the video and there's no sound why is there no sound? Because the microphone has a short in it <laughs> and the mic was just, it just sounded like air traveling across. You could see me speaking, but you couldn't hear my voice. So I'm doing this video all over <laughs> again. You know what I'm saying? Welcome to the channel. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button, hit the like button, turn on that bell notification so you know when I drop a new video, all right? You see, one day I was uh, relaxing and I was Facebooking, looking at some catfish catches on some of these catfish groups, you know what I'm saying? And someone had made a post and asked a question. Hey, I am a new angler here and I want to learn how to use a bait casting reel. What is the best bait casting reel I should get? Well, it made immediately made me think of when I first got a bait casting reel. You know, my biggest thing, I wanted something that wasn't super expensive, but I wanted something where I didn't feel like I was gonna waste my money if I didn't like it, if I didn't get the hang of it, you know, if I had trouble with it. So, I went to Walmart and I purchased the Shakespeare ATS-30, all right? The Shakespeare ATS-30 is a conventional bait casting reel that is used for trolling, okay? One thing about the Shakespeare ATS, they are known for their rugged design and their affordable prices, okay? If you all in the fishing world are aware of Shakespeare brand, they are a very affordable brand. You can find them in Dick's, some in Bass Pro, some in Cabela's, but you find a lot of them in Walmart. When I bought, when I purchased this reel about two and a half years ago, I paid approximately 30 to $33. Now, this particular model, the Shakespeare ATS-30, goes for about anywhere from $37 to $43, depending on where you go, all right? Now, the reason I like this reel is because everything on it is just almost like it's oversized. You know, it's very hard for you not to know what something is. You know, you're the where you open and close your uh, open spool and close it, it's all clearly marked. Your clicker is clearly identifiable. Uh, the real handle, the drag selector, uh, your braking system, it's all right there in front of you, okay? And again, the price is something you cannot beat. Now, when I went into some of these Facebook groups, uh, a lot of guys were talking about the Pin Squall 20. Now, that is a very good reel. I don't deny that. However, if you are just getting into using a bait caster, do you want to spend... $130 on a reel where you might not be sure if you could pick it up, you don't know if you're gonna like it, you don't know if you're gonna be able to use it, or would you feel a lot better spending, what, 30 to $40 on, on a affordable reel knowing that, you know what, if I don't like it, if I can't get the hang of it, I'm not gonna be out that much money. And right here I'm speaking to myself because this was the issue I had. I wanted to try a conventional bait caster but I didn't want to spend a crazy amount of money. And let's face it, hands down, you're going to spend a lot of, spend a lot of money on bait casting reels, all right? They, they do cost a lot of money. Now, low profile bait casting reels, that's a whole different ball game from conventional bait casting reels. This is a conventional bait casting reel. Quick specs, that is a ball bearing type of uh, reel. And the gear ratio is 6.3 to one, meaning that for every one rotation of your real handle, the spool will spin 6.3 times. Now, if you're out and you are fishing for a fish that could change directions very fast in order to get the hook out of your mouth, you want that high gear ratio, all right? And that's not a bad reel for that. Next, this reel can be used in salt water. It could be used in fresh water. Again, when you look at the price, you really do, it really is a very good reel because it's very hard to mess up. One downside I've noticed about that reel is not the, it's not the best for casting just because of its ruggedness, but 
you know, two and a half years later after I purchased that reel. I haven't had it serviced. Uh, it's had some mud on it because I've had it out in the elements and it still works just as good as new as when I first bought it. Now, without any further ado, let's get into the more specifics of this reel. I'm gonna show you everything on this reel so that you have more confidence. And if you're watching this video and you're thinking about getting a bait caster, you won't be good to go, all right? All right, ladies and gentlemen, so what you see directly in front of you is the Shakespeare ATS. This particular reel is a right-handed reel, all right? You have your level one right here, which is used to guide your line back onto the spool. On the right side, you have your handle and your knob. This little star right here, that is your drag selector, all right? In order to loosen the drag, just spin the star toward you. And you have free spool. Tighten the drag. Pull it away from you, just like that. All right. As you can see, you can't pull it anymore. All right. This little knob right here, that is your so that is your uh, brakes right there. Okay, that controls the rate of how fast or slow your line comes off the spool. All right, now this switch right here is to open the spool and close the spool. I'm sorry, to close, open the spool and close the spool. Right now it's in a closed position. Can't pull any line out. Flip it down. Now the spool's open. You can see that the line is spinning on the spool. All right, and that's, you open that to cast out. All right, and then when you wanna stop the free spool, you just close that switch right there. And again, the switch is so big you know, it's hard to miss that. And it even shows right there. If you see that little word right there on and down below is off. All right, now let's go to this side right here. This switch right here, that is your clicker. All right, so if you're away from your rods, you're not paying attention and you have a fish hit, like we're gonna loosen a drag so you can hear it. All right, drag's loose, line's pulling out. There's no sound, so you're not gonna know. Now, flip that switch, like so. You hear that clicking sound right there? Veteran fishermen will tell you that is the most wonderful sound in fishing is when you hear that drag just screaming. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and when you're reeling in, so you don't get no funny looks, when you're fighting a fish, be sure to turn that off. All right, one, you look like you know what you're doing. Two, that'll make the life of your clicker last a lot longer. Speaking of long lasting life, this reel right here I got over two years ago, right? And here we are now, I paid $30 for it and it still works very well, all right? I have had absolutely zero issues with this reel. And again, for only $30, you can't beat that. So if you are a newbie and you are trying to learn how to use a bait caster, I highly, highly recommend the Shakespeare ATS. You can get them at Walmart, Dix, Bass Pro, Amazon. I mean, they sell them everywhere. You really can't go wrong. Sorry, I'm just trying to tighten my spool back up here. Oh boy, there we go. And as you can see, it's probably time to change this line anyways because this line has been on here forever. You know, line needs changed, but this reel is still in tip top condition. It has not been serviced and everything still works just fine as you have seen. All right, and that is a Shakespeare ATS. It's that easy, y'all. All right, again, $30, $40, whatever. In the terms, in the bait casting world, that's not a lot of money. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I've had this reel for two and a half years now, and it still, it still gets the job done, man. I cannot complain about it one bit. I still use it. Uh, the main purpose I have for it now, I actually have that reel paired with a, uh, it's like a six foot uh, shorter, uh, medium heavy rod and the purpose for that is because once I get the confidence up I want to be able to go out 
on the kayak and go after big catfish. I'm still trying to get my confidence up a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But that's a perfect setup for that because I don't have to cast far. Uh, and I'm not gonna have a huge long rod along with a big catfish that I'm trying to work around inside of the kayak. Just a personal preference, all right? Anyways, short, quick video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you were looking to get a bait casting reel, I hope uh, I answered some of your questions and hopefully, you know, you look into getting that reel. And what I'll do, the link is in the description, all right? So if you wanna check out this reel, click that link, check it out, all right? In the meantime, I'm out of here. I'm gonna cross my fingers and hope that the audio works just fine this time because I'm not mic'd up this time. Had to throw the mic away, but you know, anyways, I'm out of here. All right, so in the meantime, y'all take care. <laughs> Be easy. Mm. Baltimore Angler. See y'all later, man. Y'all you know what I'm saying? <laughs>